Balotelli, Aguero! Me. I swear you'll never see anything like this ever again! <laughs> so watch it! Drink it in! They've just heard the news at the end of the Che, 455k for an 87 rated. <laughs> Chase. What's up, boys, and welcome to the flashback downgraded 87 Sergio Kun Aguero Episodia that is right. It is an 87 rated card, and you might be thinking to yourself, well, it's a flashback card, and his base card in FIFA 21 is 89 rated. Shouldn't it be like a 90 or a 91? Uh, as you guys know, um, one of the things that EA promoted before FIFA 21 came out uh, was flashing back to an earlier card in the player's career. So while this is a downgraded card, it still has plus 8 total in-game stats over the 89 rated card. The 89 rated card obviously is cheap as chips because you know doesn't it doesn't fit the bill of the meta of uh, of FIFA 21 however this one sees himself get a plus 10 pace upgrade that is right he goes ahead and he gets himself 84 sprint speed as well as 93 acceleration which is the one of the main selling points of this card doesn't have the shooting doesn't quite have the passing uh, and then uh, doesn't uh, quite have I was about to say don't doesn't quite have the defending 33 versus 36 the dribbling stats are negligible it should be noted though that 80 89 base FIFA 21 Aguero has 84 agility. This one has 91. So it is a massive, massive agility upgrade. I love that. Um, and like I said, boys, uh, the 89 Aguero has decent enough dribbling at 88, but this one has better uh, uh, dribbling. And then this one obviously has the massive, massive pace upgrade. Depending on how you use your chem styles, this card may or may not be worth it for you. Has the 74 physical as well. Also should be noted, has 84 stamina versus the 89 Aguero, which I believe is in the 70s. 78 versus 84. So, uh, uh, an interesting little card here. Some people might think it's too expensive, but given the events of the past few days, given, you know, uh, Maradona's passing and it's an Argentinian player, and I thought it'd be a nice way to uh, uh, pay tribute as well as just talk a little bit about Argentina and my personal Argentina story. I was blessed enough. Uh, I was blessed to be able to visit the country uh, earlier this year in January, right before everything started kicking off. And as we go along in the episode, I'll tell you guys a, a few stories. Uh, it was just a very, very beautiful country and an, an incredibly uh, awesome time in my life. So today, we're getting to a dual purpose episode as well. So yeah, 455,000 coins. It's not cheap by any means. Would not would not recommend uh, to do this card if you guys are are are, are cheap for coins. But he's a, a, a smexy smexy looking card. I would go so far as to say the flashback card design is the most beautiful card design outside of maybe the record breaker. Who we've got a. 87 record breaker Radamel Falcao for breaking the Europa League uh, scoring in 2011 which with I believe 17 goals so let's just dive right into the episode here four star skill moves four star weak foot smash like on the video for Argentina smash like on the video for Quilmes if you guys know about Che Boludo and you guys know about the beer Quilmes and if you guys know about uh, Bife de Chorizo uh, con Papas Fritas Peng Ting Meal smash like on the video for Sergio Aguero's soundbite 455k for an 87 rated if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below and nothing here changes high medium uh, four star, four star. We go over to the attribute details, and that's the main difference right there. You're looking at it as as well as I am. 93 acceleration with the hunter goes up to 99, goes up to 94 sprint speed, goes up to 94 attacking positioning, 99 finishing with 91 shot power. Uh, passing stats, not really anything to speak of. There has never really had crazy passing stats in any FIFA. But the thing that really separates this card is the fact that it's got 90 plus in every dribbling. It's the plus two over the uh, over the 89, which has 88, and you just don't even need to put anything on this card in terms of dribbling jacked offness because it's already crazy. Doesn't have the composure of the 89, but I'm, I'm going to try and see if the 99 finishing with the 85 composure is just going to be cracked anyway. And again, you pay for a little bit more stamina as well. So, uh, player traits, leadership, injury prone, nothing really to speak of there. We're going to go in game. We, of course, have Papu Gomez and Dybala. I wanted to try and get Maradona, but we don't have uh, enough coins to be able to get his card. We've got a beautiful Tifo in the background with Maradona as well as the background Tifo for the Argentina, uh, the Argentina flag as well as the Napoli Stadium theme. Speaking of Napoli, we're going to honor him by running Chucky Lozano and then Malquit as well. So hopefully we're going to have a little bit of success with this team. Center forward is going to be Dybala, going to be switching to the 4-4-1-1 in game. Match number one, Che Boludo. I swear you'll never see anything like this ever again. Gentlemen, amigos, un placer saludarles desde el estadio José Zorrilla. So the one thing I'm expecting this card to feel Cuna is slippery. Abuela. Se abre camino el Kun. This game sucks! But I'm also expecting the acceleration to be there as well.
Kun Agüero. Con la pelota de bala. ¿A quién puede haber peligro? Sergio Kun Agüero. Going for your close-up, boys. Come on. The Chamber Ludo mad lad himself. Oh, man. Oh, dude. Crazy, dude. Freaking Maradona, bro. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, well, I mean, really... Like uh, yeah, so I think they laid Maradona's body to rest at the Casa Rosada, which I was which I was privileged enough to be able to visit. Beautiful little town, little beautiful little square. And then I walked down, and we walked by a river, and then there was a boat that we tried to go on, but then the boat was closed. And then we went to an electronic store, and then I had one of the best meals of my entire life, a Quilmes, which is an Argentinian beer, and then a freaking uh, bife de chorizo and freaking uh, French fries. Oh my God, dude. I was in freaking heaven. And then we went to an Independiente game later that night. And it was just like the perfect Argentinian experience, man. I wish I would have had more time there. La bocha que cambia de dueño. Rooney goal was enough for the three oh, points. Manchester City is still alive La here. De La there we go, Sergio Poon. What an absolute strike. We're doing the dead fish, boys. Come on. So the, if, there's, if there's one thing I'm noticing off the card, if, if there's one thing I'm noticing, it's the acceleration, which is the difference between the 89 and the 87. With the 89, you're locked into having to use the Hunter. With this one, you could be a little bit more creative. Look at the play. Look at the difference. This game sucks! Look at the auto blocks. That's, that's literally two auto blocks back to back. I cannot wait for this new patch. Maybe push in the late in game. A little bit of that strength. Oof. Sergio Aguero, bro, he's putting putting the moves on. That's a nice finish. However, I feel like is that Richard Legault? Oh, he's doing the chicken dance on me. Yikes! All right, if that's Richard Legault, I feel like I probably save that if I have a different keeper. Manchester City is still alive here. Balotelli, Aguero! The body fade and Sergio Kun Aguero. The 80th minute, boys. Come on. The body fate of dreams. Slakun. Vamos. I mean, if we're looking at Premier League strikers, right? So it's 1.2 mil for 91 record breaker Harry Kane. If we're looking at Bobby Firmino... Uh, sorry, if we're looking... At Timo Werner, that's seven. I mean, like, if you consider that 86 Timo Werner wants to watch is 739k, if you consider that Timo Werner's 86 is 328k, four star, four star, if you consider that Marcus Rashford is 700k, and, you know, even Wilfred Zaha, man, the 85 Wilfred Zaha, uh, Zaha card is 250. If you consider the price of Premier League strikers, the landscape of Premier League strikers, you know, um, UEL Aubameyang, who's about 900k. This Sergio Aguero for 87, I think a lot of people are going to focus on the fact that it's a downgrade minus 2 from 89 to 87. I wouldn't focus on that because, like I said, it's plus 8 total in-game stats uh, upgrade over that. But the stats are shuffled around, right? So it doesn't... It, it's kind of... Um, what was that promo that we had? Literally, it was a few weeks ago. I can't even remember. What was the promo? Rule Breakers. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it, think about it as a Rule Breakers Sergio Aguero card. I swear you'll never see anything like this ever again. Got it. Ah. Chucky Lozano. What a... Dude, what a game. 4-2. Oh, bro. With Maradona in the background, bro. Yo. Oh, bro. I got to watch the documentary. I haven't seen it yet, but I've been watching all the... I've been watching all the tributes to Dries Merdens, man. Dries Merdens is one is beautiful. He said something along the lines of if my name... You know, because uh, Dries Merdens is the all-time goal scorer for Napoli. And he, he said, uh, you know, if my name has ever been mentioned alongside yours, uh, forgive me, because he just is honoring how legendary Maradona was. Pele said something along the lines of, I hope one day we can play again in the sky. That one was hella emotional as well. Um, and just a uh, beautiful, beautiful thing. At the La Bombonera, they had, um, they had uh, Maradona's balco, his, his, um, his suite. The entire stadium, it was nighttime, and the entire stadium was shut off. And the only light that they left on was Maradona's. Uh, Maradona's uh, sweet, so I thought that was that was very very touching. 24 out of 41 dribbles for Aguero. You see the speed. You see the pace that we're dealing with here with the Sergio Aguero card. Again, the the 89 
as as hard as you're gonna try, even with the uh, even with the hunter chem styles, would not be able to do that. This card's maxed out. This card has max acceleration. He's got 99 acceleration. 90. What is it? 92. 92 sprint speed. Can't do that with the 89. Got him. 2-1. Bro. <laughs> this Aguero card is nuts. You see the burst? I got a little bit che too cheeky there. I probably could have just ripped it. I was trying to do a body faint. Um, but the one thing you'll notice if you do this card is the burst. It's uh, and it's the thing that stood out to me. It's the first thing we talked about when we looked at the new stats. Come on, man. Sometimes you just know when a goal is going to be scored. Sometimes you just get that feeling where you know a goal is going to be scored. That's... I'm telling you, it's the acceleration. It's the burst. Now, obviously, untradables have their own... Uh, untradable cards have their own value. You know? Um, but you don't have to be a millionaire to be able to get the Aguero. Okay, the Aguero card is crazy. Can we just can we just can we just go ahead and state the obvious? The, the Aguero card is nuts. So we're gonna start off with performance, and I'm gonna go ahead and say Alan. Hey, that's not too bad from from that particular pack. 83 Alan. So still goes for a little bit. Uh, in terms of on-the-pitch performance, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. He's got the 4-star, four 4-star. Four He's got the 84 uh, sprint speed, 93 acceleration, which is, again, my favorite part of the card, that he has that crazy, crazy acceleration. We're going to save the rest of the packs for tonight. Um, He's got that crazy, crazy acceleration. He still has the finishing, the composure, which is I was a little bit nervous about that because the 89 does have better composure. This one has 99 finishing, 85 composure if you have a Hunter Chem style. But the thing that I really loved is every dribbling stat goes up over 90. You don't have to use something to jack the... the that off and then you also get the 84 stamina so four out of five in terms of uh, on the pitch performance and i might be i might be going against the grain here given that it is 87 a lot of people are going to see a lot of people are going to see that and say wait how could you say this is worth it it's minus two over his base again you have to factor in you have to consider that it's it, the, the stats are reshuffled um and it actually does have more total in game stats over the 89 so i'm going to give it a three and a half out of five i know it's not cheap but 450,000 coins if you look at the landscape of all the options that you have in terms of premier league strikers we're talking the Rule Breakers, Harry Kane. We're talking the Live UEL, Aubameyang. Uh, we're talking even the 86 Inform Timo Werner, which is uh, which is all are crazy, crazy priced. Given that you can get this done a little bit more cheaply and have an end level, uh, have an incredibly, cre uh, incredibly crazy, crazy uh, Sergio Aguero card. But that's going to do it for the episode, you boys. Smash like if you guys did enjoy an emotional, emotional epi. Again, my Argentinian followers, I know you guys are in a state of mourning. My heart goes out to you guys. I hope you guys are staying, uh, hope you guys are staying safe and hope, hopefully, hope you guys are well. Um, and we'll be streaming my first 10 games of Weekend League over on Twitch tonight. But that's going to do it for the Sergio Aguero Episodio. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Catch you guys for another one tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.